Hey everybody, I'm Brian and this is The Will To Make and today I'm going to show you how I built this craft show display. So I started off by laying down some foam board on the ground to give my plywood equal support while cutting. This plywood is a 4x8 sheet of radiata pine. I marked out my cuts for the back piece that makes up the display. I used a drywall square while marking to keep my cuts all square. Using my circular saw, I made the two cuts. You can use a straight edge if you would like, but I just eyeballed it for this project since alignment isn't too crucial. I then marked out where I want the curve on the top to start. I marked the center of the board where my marks were, and with a string held at the center and a pencil on the other end, I drew the curve, making sure to keep my pencil straight up and down. While the board was still on the ground, I decided to go ahead and mark out all my holes. I evenly marked them out with 4 holes going across and 9 going up. I then marked where I will notch the bottom to accept the feet later on. I used a piece of scrap to measure the notch to ensure I marked for the right thickness. Using a jigsaw, I cut the curve on the top. Then I cut the notches at the bottom to accept the legs. I made sure to stay on the inside of the lines and just snuck up on the cut to get a nice tight fit. With the tip of a screw, I made an indent where I marked my holes. This stops the drill bit from wanting to wander. Using a jig I made to keep my bit square, I drilled pilot holes in all my hole locations. This jig was made with a piece of scrap and I drilled a hole using my drill press which will give me a very square hole which is then used as a guide. With a Forstner bit the same size as my dowels I drilled halfway through each hole. I then flipped the board over and drilled the rest of the hole out. This ensures that my holes don't blow out like they would if I tried to just drill straight through.
Then I moved on to the legs, starting out by marking my height and cutting out with my circular saw. I marked for my width and again cut with my circular saw. I then marked out to cut some curves and also a notch where they will be attached later on. Using a jigsaw, my curves and the notch were cut out. The same process was then repeated on the second leg. Next were the shelves. I started by cutting out a 5.5 inch strip of the plywood. Over at the miter saw, I cut that strip down into three longer shelves and three smaller ones. While at the miter saw, I cut my dowel down into five inch pieces. I cut as many as I could because they will be used as a pegs to hold the shelves as well as to hang things. I gave all the pieces a light sanding by hand with some 220 grit sandpaper and made sure to break the edges as well so they are not sharp. The legs were then installed. They ended up being a really tight fit and I had to use a rubber mallet to fully seat them. The pegs then can be inserted wherever in a shelf placed right on top. And with that, this project was complete. I think it turned out great and I love how all the shelves can be moved around into any location. This display is great for any craft show and can be used for just about any product. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.